action? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, early morning, we are out here in the desert to do some experiment. As you guys can see, we got our RN50, a 50 BMG and some pipes bent. <coughs> I uh, saw Matt from Demolition Ranch keeps racking up these views on curving bullets. I was like, you know what, I need to come up on this too. And I don't think anyone's done it with the 50 BMG. I don't even know if it's possible or not. This is a galvanized pipe, pretty heavy. And um, we made two different kinds. Just very show this over here real quick. We made one that has a single point bent. It's, I don't know what kind of degree this would be. 35, 30 degrees or 45. something? 45. 45? It looks like a 45, right? Yeah. Because my, my angles are not really good. <laughs> and this one has a five or six point bent. One from here, 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 here to where it gives it that smooth turn. This has a sharp turn, this has a smooth turn. 50 BMG bullet, it's a steel core, so I don't think it's gonna bend or deform. So it has no choice either but to turn or just come out from over here and go forward. So I have no idea what's gonna happen. Enough talking, let's just go, I think. I, I talk too much. Let's go. <laughs> I need to <laughs> close my mouth. <laughs> right, Jasper? Okay. Yes. I wanna see if this will work with the nine millimeter on this sort of pipe. And uh, I'm gonna move this aside and just shoot it with the nine millimeter. I have my Glock 19 inside this MCK. It's made by CAA. So I'm gonna shoot this and see what happens. This is a bad idea, I probably shouldn't be this close, but I'm just gonna put it here and then fire it. Like this, see what happens, right? Like that? Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Oh, your ear protection? Yes, uh, it's on. Okay. Fire in the hole. <laughs> okay, so that worked. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, the bullet is inside. Oh no, 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 it's a little uh, marble. Oh, that little uh, oh, shaking thing? Well, yeah. <laughs> this little shaking thing. So, it, it maybe looks like I don't know. I can't tell what it is. I don't know if it was. Looks like shrapnel coming out. There's one piece over here, one over here, something scraped over here. So like I said, that uh, lead bullet is getting into pieces hitting this. And I'm thinking it's just coming out in multiple pieces. I don't know. Now, the moment of the what, Jasperi? The moment of the truth. The moment of the truth. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> What do you want to do? I want to move this. In case this thing goes straight, don't don't hurt that. This oh one. yeah, okay, you're right. This one here. No, just put it on the ground. Oh, yeah, like this. Well, yeah, you're right. Just then put it on the ground. ground. <laughs> okay, there you go. And then we try this one. Okay. This. Okay. So the moment of the truth. We are using an RN50. This is one of a. Um, this rifle is made by Serbu Firearms. It's a very inexpensive 50 BMG. If you can, if you don't have the budget to spend. 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 on the semi-automatic and other brands. This is, I think, about $1,200, $1,500. It's a break action. Uh, it's kind of um, pretty actually cool. You break it open like this. It's got a little trigger on the bottom. It's got a breech cap. You open it. You put the round in. It's a single shot, obviously, of course. Oh, there's one in there. Oh, oh God. Uh, you put your round in there, you close it, you cock it, the hammer back, and then you fire it, like that. This will be perfect for that. I use this for a lot of my experiments. And I'm gonna, I'm thinking, here's also what I wanna do. I wanna stick the barrel all the way inside and it just so happens it fits right in there. That's better, you see that? Yeah. Give it a nice zoom in on that one. See, it fits right in there. And also another cool thing would be to see all that gas from the muzzle brake, what it's gonna do to it, I don't know. I don't think anything's gonna happen to that pipe, but... And of course, I'm not gonna be standing over here for this. I'm gonna go as far back as possible. We're gonna use the string. Right, Jasper? Yes. Safety first. Safety number one? Yes. Priority. Priority. Okay, let me get around and we are good to go. Ay, cabrón, wow. I don't know what's going to happen here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you think this thing curved? I don't know. We find out right now. 
And in case you're wondering why I have my shirt tucked in, it's because I want to show you guys my belt from uh, grip6.com. Thanks to them for sending the belt. And my holster is an alien gear holster. And my Glock is a Glock 17 and made by Dynamic Weapon Solutions. Anyway, I'm still giving away some Grip 6 belts. They have awesome stuff. You can custom make your belts. It, uh, they have a single pack. I'm still giving away the single packs. It comes with one belt and one of these uh, buckles. This is uh, one that you can customize yourself so you can put different ones. It's so simple. Let me show you again. Just buddy, again, don't focus in this area. I don't want the people to get excited. So, look how simple it is. You just slide it back here, like that. And you can put this right in there. There you have it. No clicking. You can use it to wear your holsters when you go out on a dinner, on a romantic dinner with your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever you're into. And that's that. Grip6.com. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll put this box over here. Grab my breech. Just ready? Yes. Ven aquí, por favor. Ah, cabrón. So what you can do is you can use another round to pop this round out like that. So you break it open using that trigger in the bottom. You put your round. You tie it. You close this breech. Screw in the breech. Okay. And you lock that back. And then I'm going to stick this right in there. Don't get excited, guys. Like that. Cabron. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Couldn't happen anymore. They don't, Gavron, don't pull the string. <laughs> I know, I, mean, I haven't pulled the hammer, but still. Okay, camera. Woo! You ready? I'm ready. Okay, Come on. Gonna happen? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, let's run. Don't go over the string. No. Okay, let's go. The moment of the truth. Yes. Do you want to stand uh, behind the car or behind do you want to the stand car? Over there? I want to put the camera here. Carol, nothing's going to happen. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to. Risk it? Risk it. Okay. One, two, three. Fire in the hole. Oh, it curved. <laughs> yeah. No way. What do you mean no way? Look at the paint. <laughs> oh. Cabron, look at the, the pipe here. I think maybe the jacket hit it also. It looked like a bunch of little holes. <laughs> look Let, at this. Let's go see the pipe. I want to no, see the I, pipe. I want to see the pipe. No, the pipe is broken, Cabron. The lead. But, yeah. Is the pipe broken? Yeah, cabron. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> well, curve a little bit because. Oh man, oh, all the spray paint. Be careful, your hands. How should I do this? Okay, so. The lead. Ah, uh, interesting. So it looks like the bullet. Look, it's. Ah, oh, I said don't touch it. I touched it myself. Bend the homie, right? <laughs> Okay, just zoom in. So, here's our science. Something hit over here too, right? Or was this here before already? I don't know. But look at this. It ripped open this pipe. And I think some of it obviously came right out and went over here somewhere. But it worked. But it worked with a lid. With a with jacket. With a jacket, I think. Jacket, maybe. yes. Some of it came out. So, I don't think this is a... Uh, it shredded the spray paint. Something hit it really hard, so this is hard to tell what it was. Cabron, this is a, okay. Let's go try the other one. The okay. jacket maybe came okay. off. Okay, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, the, ja the jacket, the, the jacket. The jacket maybe got stripped off and went forward and destroyed the, uh, the spray paint. Yes. And the bullet somehow, the bullet came out and uh, right at this point and went out. Whatever was, some pieces of it went forward and hit the spray paint. That's an exit, 100%. Yeah. That came out. Is that a rock? It's a rock. Okay, we got wood, copper, 
Paint, pipe, side. Man, I got all the angles covered. Cover on angles covered here. If the wool is come out, come out in this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I move think. it here. Perfect. Like that. Are you happy now? Uh, I'm even gonna yeah, give it perfect. A turn That's like perfect. That. That's perfect. Okay, this is. It can't get any more perfect than that. Yes, you got all the angles. Ready? I'm ready. This thing is too powerful. Yeah, that's the thing, it's too powerful. Like I said, this is a steel core, so that steel does not deform, it just continues going straight. Oh my god, no. don't put all the way like that. Why? Let's just put it all the way. The gas. <laughs> Let's just put it. What's gonna happen? At least now it's really uh, straight with the... Uh... <laughs> <Cabrón. Look at> <laughs> okay, you ready? Well, okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's just put it like this, it's better. Okay. You're back? I'm back. Let's go. Moment of the truth, we'll know what happens now. One, two, three, fire in a hole. Okay, well, the spray paint got destroyed. Let's see, let's see what happened. Oh, the, the, the city block too. Oh, the bullet came out then. Yeah, cabrón, look at this thing. Our 50 BMG looks good. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> yeah, it keyholed it in right in the, it was coming in sideways. Yeah. It came out. Oh no! It didn't! No, cabrón, the, why the... Look! There's a bulging! You oh the bulging? my god! You went curve this thing! <laughs> yeah, it's a bulging here! <laughs> oh. It did not come out! Wait, you have to show it from the top. Yeah, um, no, 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 I see that! Cabrón, we curved so, this thing! Yeah, it curved. <laughs> it did not come out. So, it, it's very important how your turn goes. Oh! Let's go check the plate! Oh, wait! The plate, the plate. Oh man. Maybe the bullet is stuck over there or I don't know. Or got through? Oh, it cut that in half. Yeah, the bullet cut this thing. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, the bullet is there. <laughs> the bullet it's is in there. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you son of a gun. There it is. <laughs> wait, 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 let me focus. It. Oh yeah. You know for sure that was the bullet because of the weird shape that it came out so obviously it was tumbling going it made a keyhole right over here these are regular 50 bmgs going straight through and it split the wood in half yeah sideways sideway. yeah yeah it was coming out sideways wait how does this go here like this yeah <laughs> there you go it was going in sideways came out and hit the uh, copper plate good thing i put all this in here so it's a good evidence of that uh, bullet curving so can you curve a 50 BMG bullet? Absolutely yes! Thank you for scientist Edwin and uh, Dr. Uh, Matt Cabron. for inspiring us. <laughs> give me my credit! <laughs> oh, for Jasparito. Okay. Oh, let me give you the credit. Okay, so this was my <laughs> idea. I was like, let's put a single point. And then Jasperi, I'll give you the credit. He came in and he said, no, that's not gonna work. We need to have a multiple points. So I had to go buy another pipe and we did a, a five six area of a, a point break and that's where it gives you that nice curve coming out so that's what made it actually work dr jasparito thank you very much <laughs> because i think all night and i do my math and yeah, i say right. okay <laughs> <laughs> when i see the cinder block i think okay the bullet got through no but that, that you know the what pipe happened? that energy hit but the pipe hit it on the side on the side in yeah. slow motion probably later but i think that force Right about here, it, hit, it was so strong, it hit the uh, it hit the cinder block and it cracked it. Or maybe the cinder block helps to curve this thing. That no, for sure. We don't for know, sure, but it's for sure. Doable. It did not make it out. There it is. <laughs> it yeah, was amazing. <laughs> okay, thanks to Grip Six for sending us the belt and uh, Alien Gear holsters for the holster. And that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Fearless.